क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the p block elements and we have also understood that is what are the different elements that are being belonging to p block and now in this topic we are going to specifically we are going to talk about the group 15 elements so now let us understand the introduction of group 15 elements So friends now in this topic we are going to talk about group 15 elements so talking about the group 15 elements it start with the element nitrogen phosphorus and then it comes to arsenic antimony and bismuth so based on that let me make you understand that is how we can write the electronic configuration and what are the different occurrence of those elements that are being present in the nature so let me talk about the first one that is nitrogen so nitrogen is the one which has an atomic number of 7 so that's the reason we could write the electronic configuration as 1s2 2s2 2p3 and if we talk about the next element that is belonging to the group 15 it is phosphorus and we have the electronic configuration as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p3 because the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 and suppose if you are talking about arsenic and in this case basically the arsenic has an atomic number of 33 so therefore we could write the electronic configuration as 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 3d10 and 4p3 so if we talk about the valence shell in this case basically the valence shell is 2s as well as 2p or basically we can say that is the second main shell for example for phosphorus it is that is third shell or the third principal shell and if you talk about arsenic it is basically the fourth principal shell so that is the reason that i am going to talk about the electronic configuration or general electronic configuration so it is been found that as the general electronic configuration of group 15 element is nothing but we could write it here as ns2 np3 so this is the electronic configuration and let me elaborate the electronic configuration more here that is if we talk about the valence shell of nitrogen so it is the second shell is which is the main shell but the electron that has been present in the inner shell is basically 2 and if we suppose if we consider phosphorus then the valence shell is basically the third shell and which consists of 3 electrons in the p orbital and two electrons in the s orbital making it to be called as five electrons as the valence electron so that's the reason that the inner shell that is the second shell it consists of eight electrons and if we talk about arsenic then the valence shell is nothing but 4s as well as 4p so making it to be having basically five electrons in the as a valence electron and the inner electrons and the inner shell that is 3s2 3p6 and 3d10 this will totally make 18 electrons in it and that's the reason that nitrogen phosphorus are basically different from compared to that of the arsenic bismuth as well as arsenic antimony and bismuth so this is the anomalous behavior of nitrogen that is what i am going to talk about in my next topic but for a while this was nothing but the electronic configuration and now let me talk about the occurrence of this elements so talking about the occurrence of these elements so starting with the first one that is nitrogen so nitrogen is in the form of gaseous state while the other elements they are form in the form of that is solid states but talking about the nitrogen we see nitrogen is a diatomic molecule and basically 78% of the earth's atmosphere is covered with nitrogen so that is the abundance of this uh, nitrogen and not only in the form of gas but it is also form in the combined state of that is nitrates that is sodium nitrate and kno3 that is potassium nitrate and talking about the occurrence in a human body or in a living body they are present in the form of nuclear acid they are present in the form of that is proteins because proteins and amino acid they also consist of nitrogen so that was related to the occurrence of nitrogen and now let me talk about phosphorus so phosphorus is basically present in teeth as well as it is present in bones because 60% of the bones and teeth they are made up of minerals and that is ca3 po4 twice so this is the occurrence of phosphorus that where we could get and talking about the other one that is if we talk about arsenic arsenic antimony and bismuth so they are also in the form of sulfide ores or they are also in the form of oxide ores for example talking about bismuth so bismuth is present in the form of bi2o3 talking about arsenic it is present in the form of feas s that is it is known as it is a pyrite and it is known as arsenopyrite and talking about the next one that is antimony antimony is present in the form of a sulfide that is sb2s3 so this was nothing but the occurrence of the group Fifteen elements, and that's it. So, thank you, friends, for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly, and I hope I will see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.